first time I heard of Adamson, I was working with a band called The Decemberists, and we did a show at the Paradiso in Amsterdam, and I thought it was great. My name is Jason Terulli, and I'm the front house engineer for the Black Keys. I worked at a, a shop where they worked on instruments and pro audio gear, and somebody came in one time and asked me if I could run sound at their club. I worked at several small clubs around Northeast Ohio. There was one place downtown called the Lime Spider where these guys would play. We just all kind of knew each other. Uh, then just sort of snowballed into this. I can do what I want with the PA. I can make it sound the way I want and not what some preset says I have to do. I can tweak it to taste for any engineer out there. It doesn't matter what the type of music is, if it's rap or rock or classical music, you can tune it the way they want. My name is Ben Smith. I work for 8th Day Sound as a systems engineer. One thing I like are the subs. They're compact and since we've been in arenas and sheds and theaters, we've been able to kind of mix and match and push them around in ways that we couldn't with bigger boxes. I really like that. The scalability of it is super simple. I've done a few runs where one day the S10 was my main hang, the next day the E15 and E12s are my main hang. I'm not trying to blow the doors off the place, but I'm also not trying to limit the PA or the amplifiers in any way. Tonally, they're amazing. They get nice and loud, and it really brings the image down from up in the air to where the band is, and I think that's a pretty awesome thing. It's hard to choose these days, there's so many good PAs out there. It's a very smooth sounding PA. I think there's some other high-end PAs that are a little bit more harsh on the top end. This one's definitely not that, it's very smooth. You can go up in the seats and it sounds as good as it does down here. Right now with our rig, uh, we've got 18 on the mains, which is 15 E15s and three E12s. And we've got nine E119s in the air and then we have a 15 on the side hang with, the, of course, a three E12s at the bottom. We're rolling with 24 ground subs right now, E119. Seven Ps for front fills. We do four on each side of the stage. Those things are monsters, you know? I can't believe what we put through them. It's all you need for an arena rig, that's for sure. Some of the benefits, I think, from the technical side are the the guys are able to hang it pretty quickly during the day, so however the rigging is set up and how the PA goes together, thought out and efficient for us to get going in the day, and that's important because it gives me more time to do what I need to do to hear the band. Some of the competition, you can tell where you're at in the box. You can tell you're off access. In this one, I've really got to keep looking and see where I'm at because I can't tell. It's just one monster speaker up there, even though there's three separate hangs. Pretty awesome. I highly recommend Adamson. I've switched a number of artists, and it doesn't really take a lot of convincing. I just turn it on and let them listen, and they make their own decision. They just need to hear it. If you're looking for a, a loud, PA that sounds smooth and has a lot of headroom and really solid sounding subs, you'll be picking the right boxes.